welcome back to my channel. My name is Marla and I'm so happy to have you back here today. I'm really excited because today I'm going to be filming a fall inspired tutorial. Uh, so it's going to be this look that I'm wearing right now. It's a super smoky, like mustardy yellow, just cozy look. And I'm so excited because we're actually already starting to get fall weather here in San Diego. It's finally starting to be a little bit crisper and fresh in the morning, which just starts my day off right. I was so over summer. I was so ready for uh, fall time to begin. So I'm really excited that we're finally getting this cooler weather. I think it's actually been really helping with my mood and everything. Um, so I felt really inspired to actually do a fall look for you guys today. I use the Profusion Gold Rush palette. I'm trying not to blind you, sorry. Uh, but as you guys can see, it has all these warm neutrals and then some mustardy yellows. It is a gorgeous palette and it's only $10. What? Like $10 for 21 shades and it also came with a brush, which I did use throughout the whole tutorial. It came with this little brush. It was a really awesome brush. You guys will see how many different ways I use it. And yeah, the palette is gorgeous. I mean, for the price, like you can't really beat it. Look at those mustardy shades. I don't really have a lot of those shades in my collection, so I was really excited to get my hands on it. And for $10, it's just a really awesome value. They do sell this brand at Walmart and they do also sell it on the Profusion website, so you can also find it on there but I am excited to keep creating some more looks with it. I do have a couple other Profusion palettes, so I might be creating some more videos with those palettes as well. Let me go ahead and stop my blabbering and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. As always, I will be listing the products I use down below so you can find them in the description box. I will also be listing my Instagram handle just in case you don't follow me already. I do suggest you follow me on Instagram because I do post additional makeup content on there as well. And um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you feel would be interested. So to start off, I am going to be priming my lids. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging version. I really don't think it, it's a huge difference from like the original version. Um, but my sister did give me this one a while ago. And I am trying to use it up for my project pan. I think I'm almost done with it. I'm so sorry if there's any outside noise coming in. Um, I did close the windows today, but my apartment is right on the corner of the street. And so there's a lot of cars driving by all day. So it's kind of hard to find a good time to film, especially since I have to film with daylight for the most part. My brows are already done, um, but I am going to go ahead and just uh, go under them with my e.l.f hydrating camo concealer in the shade fair warm i do just like to go under the brow bone to highlight it a little bit more and i'm using a really old uh real techniques brush i think it's meant for the lips and i don't even think they make this one anymore and i'm so sad because when this falls apart i'm gonna be super bummed out it's my favorite brush for like concealing around my brows. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with a dense fluffy brush just to make. So I'm gonna be going into the Gold Rush palette from Profusion. I'm trying to kind of tilt it so I don't blind you guys with the glare. And I'm gonna be starting off with this shade down here. It's kind of like a mustard yellow. It's the shade Serendipity. Um, it's a really, really nice shade actually. It's super pigmented. And we're just gonna start blending that into the crease. I am gonna be using the Profusion brush that came in the palette. It's just like a little fluffy brush like this. And I do like to blend it out towards like the tail of my 
eyebrow just to kind of fade it out. So just slowly start bringing the shade that way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna take a MAC 224 brush. It's just like a really, really fluffy brush. It's not super dense. So this is the brush I was using in the beginning. And then this is the 224. So you can see it's like super fluffy and big. And I'm gonna go back into that shade, Serendipity. And I'm just going to kind of diffuse the color and spread it out a little bit. Going back into the Profusion brush, I'm going to go into my next shade. And that's going to be the shade Camel. It's this one right here. It's kind of like a mid-tone camel -y brown, hence the name Camel. Um, so I'm going to go into that shade and I'm going to start deepening up the crease a little bit. So this shade, I'm not going to bring it up as far as the Serendipity shade. I'm going to keep it a little bit more concentrated on the actual crease. And taking that same shade and that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and just start connecting the bottom corner to my crease and just start blending it out a little bit. So I've lost a little bit of the concentration of Serendipity, so I'm going to go back into the MAC 224 and just start diffusing the color again. And I'm just kind of going back and forth between deepening up the crease and blending both shades together. Just take your time with this and make sure that it's all blended. Next, I'm going to be going into this shade down here, which is the shade Boost. Um, it's also a warm toned brown shade, but it is kind of a deeper tone from that camel shade. And for this one, I'm going to be using a Morphe brush. It's the Morphe M124. It's like a small little flat shader brush. And so what I'm doing is I'm just going to set this shade all over my lid. And as you can see, I'm doing padding motions, so I'm not really pulling or dragging the shadow. A lot of blending now can be done by just softly patting shadows into place rather than like doing windshield wiper motions with the brushes. These shadows are so easy to work with though. This look was like super easy to create. I'm really surprised because the palette's only $10, which is pretty insane. Okay, now that we have the color placement, I'm still going to go in and I'm still going to need to do some more blending. So we're going to go ahead and go back into the mid-tone brown, the camel shade. And we are just going to blend that in the crease one more time. And then going back into the MAC 224 and into the Serendipity shade. We are going to just deposit more of the mustardy color. And this time we're going to want to really just blend it seamlessly kind of like towards the brow. I don't know if you guys can see how it's kind of fading out towards my brow. Um, I'm going to want to make that same effect over here. And then what I'm going to do is going in with that small profusion brush again, I'm going to go into the camel shade and I'm going to just be really, really precise with my placement, but I want to try and blend out the camel shade on this inner part right here where I put that deeper brown. Um, so I'm going to just softly start blending the camel shade down. Try not to bring it too far into the inner corner. So just be really precise with the placement. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the fluffy MAC 224, grab a tiny, tiny bit more of the mustard shade and bring that towards the inner part of the eye as well to just make that gradient effect. For the last shade that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be using this cream shade up here. It's the shade Slippers. And I'm gonna just use that on a um, flat shader brush. This is my e.l.f. Um, shadow brush. I have like a million of these. It's just a flat shader brush. This is my favorite one for the brow bone and they're really inexpensive so I recommend picking them up if you need 
some brushes and so that's it for the eyeshadow it's really really simple so i'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and go on to the face and then i will come back and finish the eyes once we're done with all of the face stuff so for the face today, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier um, Silk Cream Foundation. This is in the shade Cream Ivory. And so let's go ahead and go into this one. I'm going to be using a brush for this. So I'm going to be using a uh, Real Techniques. I think this is one of their buffing brushes. Again, I've had this one for a really long time, so I don't know if this exact style is available. But any of the Real Techniques brushes will be good. And then before I forget, let me actually put on some primer. I always forget to put on primer. I don't know what it is about that step, but it's just something that I haven't been able to like completely work into my routine. I don't know if I really believe in primer, but I have them and so I might as well use them. I mean, the Porefessional, I feel like it does get rid of pores, you know, and kind of blurs them a little bit. But I don't know if it helps with any staying power or anything of my foundation. So again, I'm using the Porefessional from Benefit. I'm just gonna put that mostly concentrated on the areas where I have the most pores. I don't know if you guys can see, but my chin is like breaking out super bad right now. I have a facial scheduled on Sunday. So I'm really excited to go. I'm trying to not pick at my pimples because I'm so fair that anytime I get a pimple, I basically already know I'm going to scar. So if I pick at it, it's going to scar even worse. So I'm trying really, really bad um, to not pick at my pimples, but it's kind of hard. So for concealer, I'm going to be going into my ultimate favorite concealer that I use all the time, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I think I'm almost running out of it, so I'll probably have to repurchase it soon. And I'm going to go ahead and use that Sephora Collections Concealer Brush to blend it in. So funny thing about me filming, my vision is so bad. And since I'm filming from my phone, obviously I don't have like a viewfinder or um, I don't have like a monitor connected to my phone so I can see what I'm filming or anything and then I'm also not using a vanity mirror because I don't want it to cover uh, the camera and I feel like that's the hardest part about this just because my vision is so bad that seeing what I'm doing from that far away is kind of hard and then for my under eye I am gonna powder them with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder this is in the shade 001 transparent I don't really think it's transparent it's actually pretty brightening and pretty pigmented but I really enjoy this powder it's super inexpensive I think if you're around my shade range you'll enjoy it so really that's the only part of my face that I powder normally. I don't really powder like my entire face, especially right now that it's drier. And it has okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to go into my trusty Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I use this pretty frequently. I'm going to go into this angled brush from BH Cosmetics. I always make the funniest face when I'm when I'm like bronzing and contouring. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it on my other videos or on my Instagram stories when I do my makeup, but I make like, I don't know, I twist my lips in like the funniest way and it, every time I rewatch it, I'm like, why do I do that? And then I always keep doing it. I don't know. I'm also going to go ahead and just add bronzer to my forehead, um, just like the perimeter. And then for blush, I'm going to be trying out a new blush today. Um, I actually think this one will be perfect because it's like a dusty, I'm so bad at describing colors, but it's like this dusty rose color. Um, it's from Wet n Wild and it is called, um, uh, it's a color icon blush in the shade Nudist Society. It looks like that. It has those little flecks 
of shimmer and then I'm gonna be using the Alamar um, what is this called complexion brush I really like this brush because it's perfect for blush it's kind of like at an angle and it's not too dense it's kind of a little bit more fluffy so I've really been enjoying these blushes or blushes brushes oh that's so pretty yeah that's like perfect it kind of reminds me of like NARS orgasm you know how it has that sheen to it and then for highlight I am going to be going into a newer highlight that I just got this is from artist couture it's the diamond glow powder um, this is in the shade gold digger and for this I'm going to take this BH cosmetics brush it's just like a small little flat brush it's the BH cosmetics number six brush oh can you guys see that I think I can even see that from like my phone being so far away wow that's so pretty oh yeah i'm really liking how this look is coming together i'm so excited i was kind of worried so let's go ahead and finish up my eyes and then i will come back to the lips i always keep the lips fairly simple so what i'm going to start by doing is i'm going to be taking this ColourPop cream gel liner this is in the shade juniper juniper it's just a brown cream liner it looks like this i'm just gonna go ahead and line the upper and the bottom waterline so both of them the easiest way i find to do that is you close your eye on it and you just move the pencil across and then i'm gonna be taking this a uh, small pencil brush. This one's from the brand Lavish. Any small little pencil brush like this is going to work. I'm going to go into the darkest shade that I used earlier, which was Boost. And I'm going to just start smudging that on the bottom lash line, really close to my waterline. And then going into the Profusion brush that we used earlier, I'm going to go into the Camel shade now and start blending out the first shade and then lastly we are gonna take the mac 224 brush if i could find it on this mess of a desk that i have and we're gonna go into the yellow mustard shade really softly blend that mostly on the outer half because we want that to kind of combine with the yellow that we faded over here. All right, so we are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and go throw on some lashes really quickly. I'm gonna be using the Ardell Wispies today. Um, I do have a tutorial on how I apply those lashes. So if you do wanna go ahead and check out that tutorial, I will link it in the little cards above and I'll also put it in the description box. Um, so if you struggle with lashes or anything like that, be sure to check out that video. Okay, so lashes are on and damn, what a freaking difference lashes makes. Like, look at how the look came together um, just with some lashes. Oh, they look so, so good. And I actually did put bottom mascara today. I don't typically do bottom mascara, um, but I did throw on some of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes. I really like this one for the bottom lashes. I find that it hasn't been smudging. Um, it does separate them and it doesn't make them look like twiggy and like shoot off in different directions. That's usually what happens to my bottom lashes, which is why I don't really put mascara on them usually. Um, but this mascara has actually worked wonders on that area. So I did just wanna give it a little shout out. So for the lips, if you guessed it, I'm going to be doing something very neutral, natural looking, nothing too dramatic. I am going to be using Rimmel London Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. It has a really long name. It looks like this and it's in the shade Natural. And then for the lipstick, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of Max Cherish. I believe this shade is still available. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry, but it's just kind of like a neutral nude, brownie nude. 
And then I'm going to try out also another Artist Couture product. Um, this is the first time I'm trying out their lip glosses. And this is in the shade Foreplay. Ooh, I like that. It's super creamy. And it has like that kind of applicator. Are you guys able to see like a little teardrop? All right, everyone. So that's going to complete the look. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fall inspired tutorial um i know it came out really really smoky and i i think that it came out really nice actually i'm really liking how everything looks i like how everything worked together i especially enjoyed i mean i was gonna say one thing in particular but honestly i enjoyed everything that i tried today um the profusion palette was super amazing i think for the quality and like the price you really can't beat it the blush from wet n wild is also super pretty like that glow that it gave i honestly didn't really even need the highlight i just wanted to be a little bit more extra today and yeah everything really came together i hope that you guys enjoyed the look i hope that my tutorial was you know pretty good in explaining everything uh if i didn't explain anything that well please let me know if you have any questions and i'll be happy to answer them and i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you on my next one bye did i have lipstick on my teeth that whole intro Did I have lipstick on my teeth that whole intro and none of you told me anything? You guys are awful friends. This is just not okay. Oh well, well if I had lipstick on my teeth the whole intro, ignore that. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and refilm the intro. It happens to the best of us.